water board management staff agree with our reasons why the RAP does not comply with the order. The RAP is a big league flawed because it has a number of significant discrepancies. It does not meet minimal acceptable standards because it does not comply with the requirements of the order. These flaws include, but not limited to, the RAP is based on a cursory and incomplete remedial investigation, which is contrary to common sense and industry practice and does not comply with the order. The health risk evaluation included in the RAP is invalid because it is based on incomplete data and superficial analysis. The feasibility study included in the RAP does not comply with the order, but it does not follow EPA guidance as the order requires. The RAP proposes no cleanup of the pollutants that have contaminated the groundwater that is being used as a source of drinking water. Leaving pollutants is contrary to the standards of the basin plan and the state admission for the water board. The RAP does not include a detailed sample and analysis plan, which is a critical component of a RAP that describes how cleanup will be done. 236 residents in the room have signed a petition to reject the RAP and implement intermediate remedial actions, better known as IRAs, for the site. We have asked water board management why cleanup of the site cannot be begun using IRAs, which we have been asking for in the past several meetings. Included in the order, while the RAP is revised and resubmitted, thus far water board management has resisted implementation of IRAs. As I previously stated, we have been asking for it in previous meetings and it appears to be moving forward with approval of the flawed RAP. Thank you for your attention. I will be happy to answer any questions. And I have a copy for the executive officer of my notes. All right, thank you. Now we have, I'm trying to remember this, Mr. Day, Mr. Dunn, Mr. Day. I'm sorry. Sorry, thank you. Good morning, board members, executive officer, management and staff. My name is Raymond Day. I am also a member of the Cleanup Room with Plaza Now Oversight Committee. As Bill mentioned, we have reviewed the order, the RAP, and other reference materials, and we are very concerned that the water board management may approve the RAP, either with or without contingencies. Another reason that this RAP should not be accepted is because it is internally inconsistent and contains conflicting statements. For example, it states in at least six places that the timing of the remediation is dependent upon redevelopment at the site, but then references once in a footnote that in the timeline that remediation is based upon poor approval of the RAP. We have been told by water board staff that rejecting the RAP will delay the remediation by another year. This is totally unacceptable to the community. We have suggested using interim remedial actions, IRAs, as described in task 4A and 4B of the amended order to begin remediation while the RAP is revised and resubmitted. Water board management has previously used task 4B to require an IRA. These provisions could be used again to require the discharger to excavate and remove contaminated soil at the site. The discharger has had two years to prepare a RAP that meets the requirements of the order and failed to do so. The Water Quality Control Plan for San Francisco Bay Basin, paragraph 1.2, states that the adverse impacts on groundwater quality often have long-term effects that are costly to remediate and consequently as additional discharges are identified, source removal, pollution containment, and cleanup must be undertaken as quickly as possible. Activities that may potentially pollute groundwater must be managed to ensure that groundwater quality is protected. Groundwater quality at the site and surrounding areas needs to be protected. We will continue to work with water board management and staff to reach solutions that will ensure that contamination at the site is remediated 
to the cleanup le levels specified in the order. We are here today to urge you to reject the RAP submitted, to, submitted by the discharge because it does not comply with the order and will not achieve these objectives. We want to ensure that the most effective processes are used to remediate the site in all contaminated areas in a timely manner. We are looking forward to making a presentation to you at the April 4 meeting. We are here today because of the Executive Officer's Report on Prosperity Cleaners. Thank you very much, and I'm pleased to answer any questions. Thank you. All right, thank you. And thank you for pointing out that the uh, title of the item in the Executive Officer's Report does not room with its Prosperity Cleaners sink in its inside. Uh, so we do have some information on that in the, in the board packet. Uh, thank you. All right, we'll move on to the minutes. I'll move approval of the minutes for the February 14th. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, approval of the minutes. And now we will go to the board members and the executive officers. Well, I'll say briefly that I was at the public meeting. Uh, it was held uh, nearby uh, the Marinwood site, on the Marinwood site, and uh, very much appreciated uh, the efforts by all the people that were there, the staff, but also the community. Uh, I'll be watching with real interest in what comes before us in April. I'm assuming. Without saying, that folks have submitted comments, detailed comments, and they will have written comments that are along the lines of what you presented today. So I'll be very interested to see that and come with a very open mind. Thank you. Right, as we noted in the executive officer's report, we did uh, allow public comment for a month on the draft remedial action plan, and my understanding is we received over 100 pages of comments, including many from the community. So. We're in the process of going through and providing a written response to those comments, and then that's what we have in mind for next month is, is bringing both that response to comments back and our own uh, analysis of the draft the remedial action plan with uh, opportunity for the public to, to comment next month on that. Yeah, and, I, and I will say uh, the community of residents have been uh, uh, given a textbook example of how to present and 